Hello everybody! In this tutorial I want to give you a short introduction about how to import 3D objects into Pixera. For creating 3D objects we need programs like Maya, Cinema 4D, Blender, 3D Max, SketchUp, whatever you want to take, but most important thing is how we can import this one in Pixera. And these we need for this one we need uh, the file format FBX, OBG, or GLTF. So make sure that your program can handle these file formats. Another thing is most of the people starting directly with a big scenery and imported it into Pixera, and then they find out, oh, this is not so easy. Yes, to exchange uh, objects from one program to another program is never easy. It wasn't easy before. So before we starting with the big scenery, we are just starting with a very simple object that everybody can understand how to import a 3D object into Pixera. And the easiest object what I can find in Pixera is a generic flat. Yes. So here, this generic flat is a very thin object. It's not a 2D object, it's really a 3D object and it's very thin. So, the main important thing on this one is we get just directly information what we need also creating our big scenery in the, in the future. Because the main important thing is the size, the scaling. To import something from one program in the other program, you need always the right scaling, yes? And another thing is the canvas resolution, what we will see later on. What happened with the canvas resolution? First of all, we take care of the scaling. So, we go to 3D Max and creating the same thing here like we had in our Pixera. We are just creating a simple plane. This is our screen. And I see directly this is 1.338 by 2.691 meters. Perfect. Normally, when I import it directly in Pixera, it will be fit and everything is fine, normally. But honestly, every program is working different. And when I take a look to the unit setup inside Pixera, the display unit scale tells me, oh, this is a metrics. This is, everything is fine, it's a meter and uh, it shows me directly meter. But this is just the internal units. To export this one, we have here also the system unit setup. And on the system unit setup, it gives me the information, oh no, when you export it, it's in centimeters. Ah, <laughs> you know, there's something where I say, okay guys, thank you very much, but uh, when I don't know it, I'm totally lost. So make sure it doesn't matter which program you work, just uh, start directly with a plane inside your program and export this one into Pixera. There you see directly, are you working with the right units or not? Yes. So I just change this one in meters. I say OK. Here's also OK. I delete this one again. And I create the same size right now. Yeah for this plane and you see directly, oh yeah, it was centimeters. Now it's 145 meters by 298 meters. So please make sure when you work in your program that the scaling is, the dimension is on the right size. So what we are doing right now is the length was 3.84 by the width the risk is 2.6. No, that was wrong. So this was 2.6 and 3.84. So, and we go closer to the object, it looks fine. So, another thing is when you work with 3D program, every object has its own pivot, and we have also a world pivot point here as well. And when I move this object, I see here, 
I'm a little bit outside of this world coordinate system. So I will bring it directly to the middle part of this program. It is very important that you place everything in, on the zero zero position in the world coordinate system. Otherwise, it can be that it comes to some problems uh, when you import this one in Pixera, but anyway, this is not the biggest problem what we have. I'm done right now with my object. Same size, I hope, and now I can export this one directly to Pixera and I'm using the FBX format. I just say here flat one. Oopsie, flat one. Save. And uh, one of the things what you have to take care of is that the geometry has a triangulate uh, setup here. If we have meteor on top of our objects, so some textures, make sure that these meteors are directly embedded. And ta-da, we have another scale factor here. So you can work internally in 3D Max in meters. You can say the system units are in centimeters, but then you can export everything in millimeters. Confusing. So make sure that you start with a very simple object. This is my um, recommendation for you. Start before you going on the big scenery, start with a simple object. Make sure everything is fit in the right dimension and then you can go with a big scenery. So we have everything in meters. I just say OK. And here you see the first time uh, gets directly an arrow. <laughs> one object, one arrow. Perfect. Uh, the thing is that uh, the plane what 3D Max is using is just using for it's a special object for 3D Max. Uh, it's like the teapot, what you see next to this one. It's just a special object for 3D Max. And the FBX converter can just say, hey, it is nice for your program, but it's not working in other program. So it's converted by themselves directly to a mesh. And the mesh can also work in other programs. I just say OK, because I know everything is fine. You convert it to uh, a mesh and then I go to Pixera here inside custom place custom uh, go to flat open the flat part move it inside and wow it's fitting directly same size perfect so when we're just Using this one, we have to make it projectable. Everything, every 3D object, what you want, where you want to place a video or picture on it. So what you what you want to use as a screen, just make it projectable. Then we can go to the composition, and I place directly a content on this one. One and two, and you see, whoops, what's happened? So the thing is, when we import a screen or an object from a different program, we have to know how big is the canvas resolution on this screen. And what we have here is just 1080 by 1080. And when we go to our normal screen, it's 1920 by 1080. So make sure that you have also the right aspect ratio on this screen, like you have it on this screen. And uh, when we try it again and we move this one on top and we move this one on top, you see it is working fine. So going back to 3D Max and now I want to place uh, a texture on top of these uh, object. Uh, therefore, I need a uh, material for it, so I can take a bitmap here directly and I have to search for this bitmap, of course. Content, I'll get some pictures inside and I take the flowers here directly. So move it on top and I want to see it as well. So now I see directly the um, the texture and of course I can export 
this one to Pixera flat number two. Now I have a text inside, inside. make sure triangulate is on top. Now I need the embedded media and uh, scale factor is also very important to think about it. Same thing, change to edible mesh, going to the screens, say add flat two and I move it inside and voila. I see directly the picture is on top. What I can do as well is I can change how the picture is placed on this object. And this I'm doing it with the UV mapping. And this is also the main um, mistake what, what happened most of the time when you import something on SketchUp. These are not really working good with uh, UV mapping. So um, here you have the possibility to place the UV mapping directly on top of um, the plane. And uh, now you can change the style of the UV mapping. So you can say, okay, I want to rotate this one. And you see directly what's going on with the, with the texture is also rotate. And I can scale this one so I can make it bigger, I want to place it in another way, so maybe something like this. And uh, this one I can export directly as well. So I export this one, make flat number three of this, save, and that meteor, scaling, triangulate, everything is inside. Come back to Big Sarah flat screen and I move it inside and you see directly what's going on and when I make this one projectable you see also directly ah this is happening yes. so even my content everything what I will place into Pixera will be also in this style so make sure that you'll be you'll be mapping is also placed in the right way when you bring up screens or whatever. So maybe some of you guys recognize it as I took my flat screen here inside, you see the handles outside, everything is fine, the frame here. And as soon as I release my mouse button, I'll place it up here. What's going on? And this is the little mistake what I told you before. If you're not placing the object, directly in the middle of uh, the world coordinate system, it can happen like this, yes. It's not the biggest problem what you have, but <laughs> it can be a problem as well, <laughs> yeah. One other thing is what I want to show you, so, is uh, the segments here inside. When you go back to the Big Sarah, you can find out if I go here to Addable Mesh, I have the possibility to adjust a little bit the screen. If I do the same thing here on my normal screen, what I imported, and I want to do it as well, nothing happens. This has to do with the segments. As more segments are inside of this object, it becomes more smoother. And uh, so I have the same possibility to adjust everything in Pixera. So when I export this one here, export again, export selected, say four. Okay, uh, go back to Pixera. Open it, bring inside number four, and I do the same thing here. You see, it works as well. 
So, thank you very much for watching and uh, in my next tutorial I want to give you an overview about how to import multiple objects inside Pixera.